trees. The poet Joyce Kilmer wrote about them as things of beauty. The construction industry sees them as necessities for building homes. Conservationists worry about them as a renewable resource. And J.M. Huber Corporation helps everyone interested in trees by engineering high-tech wood products from them. Their processes create more usable lumber out of each tree and often provide a stronger wood product than the original tree itself. J.M. Huber is a privately held global company founded in 1883 that is active in the gas, oil, coal, mineral, specialty chemicals, and timber industries. Its Huber engineered wood group created a high quality board called Oriented Strand Board, or OSB, that improves productivity in the construction and furniture industries. The OSB lines of flooring, sheathing, and panels are high quality, economical, and environmentally friendly substitutes for plywood in construction, repair, and remodeling. Just as J.M. Huber enhances the productivity of these industries, the company's own productivity is enhanced through its leading-edge deployment of the Wonderware factory suite of automation software products. At its OSB facility in northern Georgia, J.M. Huber uses the InTouch human-machine interface software to provide operators with visualization of the wood process. They use the industrial SQL Server database for historical archiving of production data. They use Active Factory to manipulate and trend historical data to streamline their process operations for making higher volumes of high quality wood products. And they're an early adopter of Wonderware's terminal services for in-touch thin client technology. The Commerce Georgia plant has proven to be very efficient in the Huber organization and last year turned out another record for annual production of OSB wood products. In all cases, the end products coming out of the plant are very different from the trees going into it. The plant receives about 65 truckloads of tree-length logs every day. A huge crane piles the logs in massive stacks, providing a buffer of three weeks worth of raw material inventory. The crane feeds the log into the debarking machine that begins the production process. Once most of the bark has been removed, the logs are fed into twin waferizer machines where they're literally chopped into wood chips or wafers. The wafers are conveyed into three large dryers where they're dried to specific moisture contents. The wafers are treated with waxes and resins that will cause them to adhere to each other and form the mat that is the first stage of board production. Each mat is transferred to a special heat-resistant screen base where a giant press compresses the mats into boards. The compressed boards are then completed by cutting them into wood panels, which are then sanded, finished, and shipped on railroad freight cars or tractor-trailer trucks. The end result is a broad array of products for the building industry. Huber engineered wood products are so superior, in fact, that the company usually can't make them fast enough. That's where Richard Baruti, the plant's senior process engineer, has made a big difference with the deployment of Wonderware software. He was responsible for installing the first InTouch HMI system in 1997, and it's still used today to provide the process visualization operators need to run the production equipment. With the new system, it, it's very easy to operate. Every one of the operators are very impressed by it and they're, they're constantly coming up with new ideas that might improve their process, which in the long run increases our production. When it came time to upgrade and expand the system, the Commerce team decided to take advantage of the latest Wonderware technology, terminal services for InTouch. This allowed them to upgrade the three existing HMI workstations and add another three users for new functionality. Instead of buying all new PCs to replace the old workstations, they bought ACP Thin Client stations and used the new Thin Client version of InTouch. In addition, the three new stations replaced old chart recorders, which resulted in significant cost savings. The InTouch application now runs on a Dell server, and users log on for sessions on the server. The Industrial SQL Server database runs adjacent to the InTouch server. The addition of the Industrial SQL Server as the database for storing both real-time and historical data provided an even faster payback. 
Having so much good information on every step in the OSB production process meant the Commerce plant could review details and data trends that they were never able to see before. Now that we have the Industrial SQL Server, we're able to gather that data, utilize it, trend it, uh, analyze it, and look at all of our bottlenecks and our opportunities for trimming downtime or any time, type of excessive time for operations. By streamlining the entire production line, taking mere milliseconds off the time needed to perform thousands of steps, they were able to improve the time of each production run. At a cost of hundreds of dollars per minute, this added up quickly. The industrial SQL Server software had a very quick return on investment. The use of industrial SQL Server has also meant better maintenance for complex systems. Huber staff now know at a glance if there might be a problem with internal components. They can decide whether to shut a unit down for repair or whether they can wait until the next routine maintenance cycle. Thanks to this efficient use of the factory suite, the staff at the Commerce plant is continuously optimizing its efficiency in its production operations. It only takes 18 people per shift to run the entire process. And the Commerce plant's goal for this year is to increase production yet again. They are currently on target to exceed last year's annual production record. J.M. Huber knows, Factory Suite from Wonderware.